Hi, welcome to Yovi's Home, where I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Today, we are gonna be talking about a subject that I feel very, very passionately about, and I hope you do too, and that is recycling and disposing of waste and trash and how we do that in the Netherlands. So, if you're interested in hearing all about that, then why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes, and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. So if you are new to the Netherlands, maybe you are a little bit confused about how recycling and disposal of waste works here. Um, for the Dutch people watching, the way that it works, at least in my state where I come from, um, every house had one big bin for garbage and one big bin for recycling and you just put anything that's recyclable in that recycling bin and that was collected once a week. So that was my kind of frame of reference when I came to the Netherlands. Um, and it works a lot differently here, but in my opinion, it's a lot more efficient as well. So let's get into the different ways that we recycle here. And I will tell you also kind of the tips and tricks that I found that are the most helpful in terms of organizing it for my family and how it works for us. But before we get into that, I just want to mention, I know that not everybody watches my videos all the way through the end. And I know that a lot of people on YouTube, they save kind of like the best or most important stuff for the end to encourage their audience to watch. I'm not gonna do that today. Um, because I feel like the subject is so important, I'm going to give you the most exciting, most important information up front, and hopefully you will watch all of that. But at the end of the video, I've saved um, a little clip, basically I, um, I'm gonna take you to the garbage dump with me. So I went to the dump this week and I did a little video there. So if you're interested in that, that will be saved for the end. But the most important bits are coming at you right now. Let's do this. Okay, so the first category that I wanna talk about is GFT or what goes into the green recycling bins. So depending on where you live, um, and this isn't even a town by town or city by city, this just depends on the area that you live in. You might have freestanding garbage bins at your home that are collected, you know, every two weeks or whatever, or you might have the in-ground system where you maybe have a card and you scan it and then you can open and dispose of your trash. Regardless of how or where you are, you will have access to the GFT, which stands for um, the G is for Grunde, I think, and so that's for vegetables, um, F, fruit, fruit, and then the T is, um, I think, town afval, which means like um, garden waste. Yeah, but let's get into that. The easiest way for me to use the GFT container is to have one of these bins. This is a food waste bin that I bought um, at Blocker from the brand Brabantia here. Um, and I think that I paid 20 euro for this bin. I absolutely love it. It has made it so easy for me to dispose of our food waste here and it's not going to the, um, to the garbage. So basically, I anytime I'm cooking or preparing food or anything, I just have this little bit out. It's on my table, wherever I'm preparing stuff, and I'm directly disposing of any food waste or scraps into the bin. Um, and then when this bin is full, I take out my little liner and then I dispose of it into my big green bin. This kind of system works because I keep this whole bin in the fridge. Maybe you don't need to if you know you don't want to. I have a big fridge, so it's okay for me. And it means that my food waste is not smelly. In any case, it's a small amount that fits in this bin, so I'm taking it out regularly to my big bin. But this makes it easy to use at home and not smelly, which is very important for me. The liners that I have using that I'm using here, these are also specific liners that are meant to be used with the GFT um, with the GFT container. So these liners are um, oh, what's the word? They're biodegradable. <laughs> That's the word. So they're biodegradable liners and they are safe to use in the GFT bin. Um, yeah. 
So shall we cover what is allowed? What is allowed to go in this bin? Let's talk about that. So I have a list here in front of me and I'm gonna tell you. You can put in here like any bread, eggshells, fruit peels, vegetable peels. Another thing that can be disposed of here is your, um, your cheese. Um, you know, like if you have a block of cheese and you eat all the cheese and you're left with the, with the rind, I guess it would be, you can put that in here, but without the plastic wrapping. You can dispose of um, clippings of flowers or small weeds, small garden waste, um, nothing too crazy, nothing too huge, but small garden waste. Uh, if, you lawn, if you mow your lawn and you have grass clippings, that goes in this container. You can use peanut and nut shells. If you are eating nuts and you cut them yourself and peel them yourself, you can dispose of those as well. The remnants of meat and fish, including bones. So anytime you're having something like that, any that can be disposed of in here as well. You can dispose of your tea bags and coffee grinds, grinds, coffee grinds, um, as well as the filters. You can put in your dog waste or cat, well, not cat waste, but dog waste, yes. Any remnants of your cooked food and also paper bags. So those are the items that are allowed to go into your green bin. Um, and then that is collected where I live once every two weeks. So they come and they take it and yeah, they go ahead and put that in a compost. Now, what is not allowed to go in your green bin? And I think that's where maybe people are confused. You know, what is actually not allowed? So you are not allowed to put chewing gum. That is not biodegradable. And so don't put that in your bin. No ashes, so if you're emptying out your ashtray or your fireplace, don't put that there, it does not belong there. Big pieces of wood or thick branches, Christmas trees, that is not for the GFT container, that goes somewhere else. If you are deep frying something and you have frying fat, that does not go in the green bin. Frying fat, you can usually collect that, you know, in an old, I don't know, bottle of some kind, Pour that in and take that bottle with you to the supermarket. There will be a place to dispose of frying fat specifically somewhere in the supermarket. The packaging of milk and juice boxes, that does not belong in this, in this bin. And matches, that is also not going there. However, one small thing that I do use and I do put in my green bin is, for example, if you have the little, you know, if you're going to make a shish kebab or you're going to barbecue some food and you have that thin wooden stick, that can go in your green bin. So now that we've talked about the green bin, let's move on to the one that I am actually very, very excited about. And that is the PMD container or um, the plastic metal and drink pack uh, container. If you have one of these, if you are lucky enough to have one at your house, I believe that the color is yellow um, of the container. I don't have one, so for my PMD, we have to take it. Um, I actually have to take it to a to a container. It's not a problem. I do it every day. Um, when I pick up my son from school, I just bring my recycling and dispose of it um, on the way home. It's absolutely easy, no problem. Um, but let's talk about what goes there because the ability to dispose of things in the PMD container has single-handedly cut down my waste, our household waste, by 80%, I would have to say. Um, one thing, actually, and I will insert a picture here because it's relevant. Dan, can you please help put a picture somewhere? On my Instagram, I often share my food haul every week, um, like what I bought. And very, very often people come and they will comment, oh my gosh, look at how much plastic packaging, that is so wasteful, it is terrible. And I agree, okay, I agree. The amount of packaging is insane. However, in the Netherlands, we can recycle it all. So I have here, I'm gonna pull it out, the, some of the packaging that can be recycled that I didn't know could be recycled. And now I'm gonna share it with you. Let's do it. Sorry, it's gonna be wrinkly and loud, but bear with me. 
This is a bag that my groceries come delivered in. It is recyclable in the PMD container. So I actually love these bags. They're a very nice size and I often use them for just garbage or recycling. So it's like a little freebie, a little free garbage bag. Now, milk cartons, these ones can be recycled in the PMD container. Aluminum cans. So if you buy things in aluminum cans, recyclable. Things like butter packages, plastic, recyclable. These things that your garlic and onions might come in. These are plastic and this is plastic. So this can be put into your PMD container, as can this. I ordered some sweet potatoes this week. They came in one of these packages. This is recyclable, as are Tetra Packs. So these kind of containers, whether you get milk or juice or yogurt or whatever, these are recyclable in the PMD container. We get 20 eggs. They come in this plastic packaging, recyclable. Are you a mom of a little kid? Do you use diapers? This packaging, that the diapers come in, recyclable. Any banana fans? Recyclable. <laughs> hey, should we make a drinking game? How many times does Yobi say recyclable <laughs> in this video? <laughs> Take a shot. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna say it a lot. We'd be way too drunk. These little fruit things or vegetables or whatever that they come in, recyclable. If you're like me and you shop online, you know that sometimes your, um, your stuff is delivered with these little bags that are full of air. Um, I'm lucky because I have a four-year-old who is obsessed with popping these, so he takes the air out for me. <laughs> but then the rest of the packaging can be recycled. These packages for, you know, in this case it was raspberries, but it also can kind of look similar to sometimes you get meat and things in it. The whole package is recyclable except for, except for this bit. Okay, so this is the only part of the packaging that is going to end up in the trash. Um, with meat and stuff, like it's not the same material, but it there it's like kind of like a styrofoamy material or something that soaks up the juices. Um, that means that your containers are going to be more clean, let me, you know, cleaner and smell less. So just dispose of this one bit, and the rest goes into your PMD recycling. I know that this is going to sound silly, and it's small. It's like so small. Like why don't I throw it away? Well, because it can be recycled. I really like these. I like this flavored coffee from Nescafe um, and it comes the whole package inside is metal it's like a little metal thing and so I recycle every single one of these whenever I make a coffee I throw that away no I don't throw it away I recycle so yeah so basically that kind of covers the main kind of things that can go in the PMD container so from plastics to metal to drink packages um, I actually um, emailed my local authority for recycling to tell them that I was making this video and to ask them where are people, you know, making mistakes or where do people get confused as to what can and cannot be put in the PMD container. And what they told me is that yes, it's P for plastic, but it's not all plastics. The, the plastic that is envisioned to go in the PMD container is for um, plastic verpacking or plastic packaging. Um, they told me that you should think about it, for example, if you buy anything that's for use in your kitchen or in your bathroom, those items can definitely go in the PMD container. However, things like plastic toys that are more of that hard um, PVC kind of plastic that is not as bendy or flexible as these other kinds of plastics that we've talked about today, um, those also may be recycled, but not in this container. More likely, you would have to go to a station and offer 
Breng station, please correct me if I say that wrong, but you would take that to the station and there will be a specific container for this type of hard plastic where they will then recycle it. So I think that covers PMD. Let me see if there's anything else before I move on and then remember later an editor Dan gets upset with me for having to give him all kinds of work for editing, but I think that's it, but probably not because it's me. <laughs> and I always remember to do the, all the stuff at the end, right? So, so before we move on from PMD, of course I remembered something and that is that the recycling center, when I talked to them, they sent me an incredible video um, showing how they actually recycle these small thin plastics that are not recyclable everywhere. Um, so I will link that in the description below because I think it's really, really cool to see how they are able to separate this trash and to actually recycle it all. So um, if you're interested in seeing that, it's linked below. The video is in Dutch, however, I had no problem watching it. I mean, it's pretty visual. so. Even if you don't speak Dutch and you're interested in seeing it, I think you can get something out of that video. So check below. Moving on, I would like to talk about the blue container or the paper and cardboard container. And that is pretty straightforward in terms of what can and cannot be um, disposed of in that container. So, sorry. Things like boxes, egg, you know, egg cartons. So I wanted to tell you guys, I had to buy, you know, a face cream because, because I'm getting older and we got to take care of our skin. So it comes like this. And of course the cardboard goes in the blue container. The cap, which is plastic, is going to go in my PMD container. And then the actual, you know, jar itself is made out of glass so that's going to be recycled in my glass so it's very easy you know to separate stuff out advertisements can be going into your blue um, container and then paper bags i usually recycle them with my paper i don't generally recycle them with the pmd container but you may if you've seen my where to shop in the netherlands video you will be familiar with this which is the package of um, folders that we get every week um, of course once I've read the folders and I'm done with them these all of this can be recycled this all goes in the blue bin with the paper and then this packaging goes with the PMD obviously glass can also be recycled so any kind of glass bottles that you might have um, they do differentiate between glass like mirrors and that type of glass versus glass um, for food and drinks and you know more household stuff um, so for your mirrors and um, like glass from your windows and things that would be recycled in a different place and if you stay tuned to the end you will see where um, but otherwise you can dispose of your glass in the glass bins. The another really exciting thing that can be recycled and unfortunately this is only in certain parts of the Netherlands. It's not everywhere um, but I do hope because it's a pilot program and I do hope that that program is successful and that eventually it is countrywide and that is the recycling of diapers. Diapers is hands down number one, the biggest contributor for our family of to the trash, to the regular like afval, rest afval, the black containers. Um, that is pretty much the only thing that we're actually throwing in the trash other than the little bits like this from the food, but basically diapers. Now, I know that actually the brand Pampers is running a pilot program in certain neighborhoods in Amsterdam where there are special containers and you sign up via an app and then you can open the container with an app and dispose of your diapers. Um, I encourage you, even if you 
Well, certainly if you live in Amsterdam, check if your neighborhood is part of that pilot program. I'll link some stuff below. Um, but even if you don't live in Amsterdam, check to see if maybe, I mean, if you live in a big city, Rotterdam, you know, Utrecht, The Hague, maybe they do this kind of recycling also where you live. Um, it would be great, of course. So please check that and see if you are interested in actually even recycling your baby's diapers because we all know, well, not all, if you're not a parent, you don't know, but if you're a parent, you know <laughs> that those diapers are just like never ending. So anyway, thumbs up to Amsterdam and Pampers for having this initiative. Um, I think it's so cool that you can do that, that you guys are doing that, and I really hope that it is a successful program and that we will all be able to recycle our diapers in the future. I very quickly want to mention how our family manages the recycling that we do, because again, it's not as easy as just throwing it all in one bin. So what works for us um, is to have different kind of bags they're bags, they're bags, it's, there's no other word, um, for different types of recycling. Now, I know that um, there are also these really nice bins that you can buy that, you know, it looks like one bin with one lid and then inside is like three or four separate compartments. That doesn't work for us. We don't have a garbage bin that you can see. We have just a tiny, tiny garbage bin that's underneath our kitchen sink um, and that's it. I still have, we have small kids that are getting into things that they shouldn't. So to have just a garbage bin outside just is not practical for us. So what works for me is here on the ground floor where I am, where we spend most of our time, I have a little cupboard under the stairs, like a, you know, a little cupboard. And in that cupboard, I keep our bags for recycling. So this is just like a standard bag that I can buy in a supermarket, like one of those, you know, reusable shopper bags. I specifically wanted this one for the paper because it is blue or mostly blue. So this is the place where my son, who's four, and my husband and I just easily without thinking, we look, we open the compartment. I know I have something blue. Um, or I know I have some paper goods or something like cardboard or whatever, toilet paper roll, whatever it is to recycle. I don't need to think, oh, which bag does it go in? It's blue, it goes in blue. And that's easy for me to know. And then of course, because I have these nice handles and it's a shopping bag, it's also very easy for me to, to carry. So every day when I leave the house to go pick up my son from school, I just grab this bag and it goes in my car and then we stop at one of the containers on the street to recycle. Easy peasy. The other bag that I have, now it used to be yellow. I I like that because knowing that the GF, no GFT, the PMD containers are yellow. Um, I really love that. So I had a yellow, excuse me, I had a yellow bag from Zenos, but then it got very dirty. So then I ended up getting rid of that bag. This is the bag that I bought um, for my PMD. You can see you know, it's already full and it's not even with all the stuff that I was using to show you guys um, the waste that I have. So it's, again, this is the one that I use the most. So now it's this colorful one. So my son knows when we have some kind of plastic metal or drink packages, it goes in the flowery one. It's just easy to differentiate when they're, you know, totally opposite and totally different. So these two bags stay in that, um, in that closet that I was mentioning. So it's easy no matter who is in the house. I mean, like no matter if it's my husband, my son, um, myself, just open it, pop it in and it's there. Very easy. All right, you guys. Now the last thing that I wanna talk about today is this waste station or a place where you can go to recycle um, and drop off all kinds of waste. Coming from the States, I always imagined like a landfill, you know, when you have lots of garbage, maybe you're moving or getting new things or whatever it is, you're doing a renovation, you have a lot of waste. Um, I always had this image of a landfill 
Then can we put in a picture here of a landfill with like piles of stinky garbage and bugs and rats and all kinds of just like stuff that like really makes you like never, never want to go to a place like that. Um, and then I came to a Dutch one. I was, I had to go. I had something big that I needed to dispose of and I needed to go. So I sucked it up. I sucked up the courage and I was like, all right, I'm going to go. And I got there and I was like, what is this place? What is this incredible place? It is so clean and it doesn't smell. And it is just like, I mean, can I say beautiful about a waste station? Like, the organization of it is very beautiful. <laughs> um, so it's very easy. You go with your car. There are lots, you know, everywhere. Search in your zip code and you'll, and you'll probably find the nearest one to you. I've been to three different ones. So it's not just the nearest one to me that is like so nice. They have all been nice. Um, the way that it works in my town, and I presume it works like this, in other places but you guys are the best at letting me know below what you think and how it works in your town but um every house gets a little it looks like a little debit it looks like a little card like a little credit card and if you have specific containers where you can dispose of your trash that card will open that container but that card is also the card that you would bring with you if you are going to the station the the waste station and Basically, you drive up and um, your car sits on a giant scale. Uh, you scan your card and there will be a person there who will ask you, what are you disposing of? If you are disposing of trash or recycling or, you know, um, lots of different items, you that is for free. Um, but there are some kind of items that are that you need to pay to dispose of. And I think that's mostly to do with like construction materials or building waste. Um, if you have, if you're renovating and you had roof um, asbestos or something and you're getting rid of like asbestos, that is also something that I think you need to pay for. But in general, the, the most common items that you're gonna be bringing are gonna be for free. Um, so they weigh your car you scan your card and then they'll ask you, you know, do you know where you're going? Do you know the way? Is it your first time? And you'll tell them, you know, the situation. Um, and then you just go to the relevant container. So where the place that I go there, shout out to all you guys in the dice bike. Hi. Um, but if you, um, they're all so polite and so kind and so helpful and really knowledgeable about, where to dispose of what. So I might have something um, that I would think is trash, but they'll say, oh, you know, there's actually a lot of metal in that thing, so why don't you put it in the metal container? Or something that might be a mixture between wood and metal, and they will tell you, okay, we're gonna break this apart, we'll put this in this container, and that in that container. And they're always so super helpful um, and knowledgeable about where to dispose of what. Um, it is actually, for me, it is a pleasure to go there. And oftentimes when I'm feeling super lazy about like actually cutting down and breaking down my boxes, which is something I don't enjoy doing, I will just opt to drive it to my station and throw it in the big container where there's like a compactor and then it does the work for me. Um, but yeah, this place is great. You can also take things like um, small chemicals so for example, if you are painting your house and you have some paint left over or um, batteries, you can take light bulbs there. They have specific containers for each of those items and you can deposit them there. Okay, so if you are not able to actually go to a waste station yourself for whatever reason, um, you are able to schedule a pickup. Um, just get in touch with your local agency. Again, here for us, in my community, it's very easy. They have like Facebook Messenger. That is how I talk to them the most. I just send them a message, ask them a question, and they respond pretty quickly. Um, but you can also schedule a pickup. So you let them know what items you have, and then they will tell you, okay, we're coming to pick it up. On this and this date just make sure you put out your items 
for example, after 10 p.m., um, but before 7.30 a.m., and just leave it in this spot. You know, they'll let you know probably in front of your house. And you can just leave your items there, and then they will pick it up and take it to the station. I've seen a lot of questions in the expat Facebook groups about, you know, I'm leaving the Netherlands, I have all this furniture, I have all these items that still work, but I mean, I'm not taking them with me to my new destination. I want to get rid of it. Um, before you get rid of it, I think you can think about, can I donate it? And whatever you're not able to sell on Mark Platz or whatever, however you're going to sell it, um, contact the donation centers like Kringlob or Kringlob. <laughs> Um, or whatever uh, place you want to donate and see if they also do pickups. This was very helpful for us when we were moving a few times. Um, I just said, you know, I have seven garbage bags full of children's clothes that I, you know, not needing anymore, um, but I want to donate them. So they came to collect it or they came to collect um, a bookcase or other things that other people can use or make use out of. So don't think that just because you're leaving and maybe you didn't manage to sell your items and maybe you don't have transportation to take it to a donation center, please do check first if they will come and pick up those items because the best recycling is actually, you know, using them until those products are gone. So until they can be used no more and then to recycle. All right, you guys. That's the end of this video. Please let me know what you think. Um, I am fired up for um, recycling. If you couldn't tell, my voice is only low because my baby is sleeping, but otherwise I am shouting it from the rooftops. And it also feels really good to be teaching my kids to be recycling and taking care of our planet too. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let's not eat my hair please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that notification bell if you'd like to be notified. I post new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon, um, Dutch time. So yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for coming over. I really love spending time with you and I'm excited um, to, yeah, to keep chatting with you guys. So please leave a comment. Let me know your favorite way to recycle or anything exciting. Um, but yeah, cool. Thank you guys so much for coming over. Thanks for spending time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.